Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In today's video, I will be going over Pwn Labs AWS Attack and Defend Bootcamp. What I loved, um, what could be better, would I recommend it to anyone, and uh, overall my experience on it. And yes, I did love it. I'll throw that out there, but let's jump right into it. So just like the Azure uh, bootcamp from Pwn Labs, uh, Attack and Defend, I did take Amazon, I thought it was AWS, but it's Amazon Cloud Attack and Defense Bootcamp. Um, pretty much similar back to back. Azure was November, uh, Amazon AWS was December. Oops, let me just mute my teams real quick. Uh, there we go. So um, I really love the Azure. There is really nothing bad um, as far as, you know, from the pro and con side um, from the boot camp. And honestly, to be, to be truthful, I ain't getting paid by them. I am not sponsored. I've never spoken to the owner. Um, I've read some of his stuff on LinkedIn, but I've never talked to him directly, never sent him a message. So this is just all out from experience. Um, I didn't really have anything wrong or negative to say, or, you know, any kind of critical feedback from, the Amazon one, AWS as well. Um, everything was good. Obviously, it's a boot camp, so sometimes things happen on the fly, setting up the labs, the VM environments. That's going to happen. That happens at trainings, at B-sides. It happened to me in DFW for one of the uh, web attack or web application pen testing um, uh, trainings. Um, you know, shit happens, right? Sometimes things just happen. Uh, no faults. Uh, that's just life. Shit happens. They know how to maneuver and move around and get things fixed and situated so they could continue on the training. Nothing wrong, um, in my opinion. I'm not going to gripe about that shit because, you know, as a man, shit does happen and you have to be able to navigate that. There was nothing really crazy that happened where we lost an hour or anything like that there. You know, it's basic minor setups and, oh, I forgot something. I just, it's a quick miss, quick fix, right? So other than that, there's really nothing bad to say. Um, I mean, that didn't even really happen, not even two minutes of time, right? And that's when people are still waiting to filter in before the boot camp actually starts and kicks off. Sometimes I'll give it, you know, the lab like, uh, or the lab day, training day, like five, 10 minutes so everyone could get, you know, get their coffee or whatever they need to do to start. So um, what I really like about this class, I like the structure on how they pretty much have it broken up. Uh, you know, overall, they'll kind of touch on the some of the stuff to go over um, in depth, more granularity. And they're also going to do that for, so after each boot camp too, let me just touch on that as far as the granular, granularity aspect of it. They have certifications after the boot camp. You'll get a cert for doing the boot camp, but then you actually get a certification um, for doing an actual engagement for Azure and AWS. Now they're separate, right? You're not going to get both exam vouchers for uh, if you do one bootcamp, you're not going to get both. If you do Azure, you're going to get that Azure uh, uh, exam voucher or attempt. And it's also, it includes a free attempt as well. And same with the AWS, you're going to get that one as well. Uh, so pretty much here's the prerequisites of what you, or kind of what they recommend. You could go in as a true beginner. Um, however, I wouldn't rush to take the um, exam. I haven't taken any of them myself. I've just been tied up and busy. I'm going over the hack the box cape and I'm going to be doing another video and I'm going to be adding another certification uh, with my uh, friend, buddy, coworker that we actually did OSCP and PMPT with together. Um, we're going to do the CRTP from Altered Security. Um, so I'll be doing that in a later video, but just to give you some context on pretty much just been busy. Um, then also getting back into shape, trying to get everything back going for jujitsu and some other stuff. Um, but pretty much it goes, you know, prequisites. Again, you don't have to do that. Um, you could come in as a straight beginner, but don't rush the exam. Make sure you have a good thorough understanding of each um, lab and environment that you're doing, the training, the labs. So it's going to be done through Discord. They're going to have a separate channel uh, threads. So you're, I think it's like four or five of them um, for each boot camp. Um, you're not going to get Azure if you don't sign up for Azure. You're only going to get what you signed up for. So it's like four or five different um, channels, uh, each broken down for different things, questions, lab material, stuff like that. Uh, I forgot what the other two were. 
<clears throat> goes over the learning path on uh, what they recommend on pretty much how to be an Amazon cloud, um, you know, red team professional. That's the ACRTP is the name of their certification. I forgot the acronym of the, acronym of the uh, Azure one. Um, pretty much uh, goes over the trainer um, stuff. The next one starts in March 25th. Um, and pretty much here's how it's structured. It's pretty much just four sections, uh, four training sessions that are live, obviously, uh, on Saturday. So it's pretty much, like I said, for me, this looks like it's all of March, right? Each Saturday on March. Um, and then during the weeks, as you have time, you break out their exams. Um, so when you sign up for the boot camp, um, you get a 45 day trial for their um uh what is it called their environment so that's like um hack the box labs they have their own uh labs version i think it includes everything except the um cyber ranges and one other thing but all the other labs it's part of the training it's part of the boot camp so you get 45 free days but the cyber ranges i believe is one there's something else that's not included unless you get the year membership the year membership is $200 and I'm pretty much on there about two to three times a week. Very great for cloud. And it not only does have red teaming for AWS and Azure, but it also has the blue team side as well, which I haven't done any of those. Um, so let me try to go into mine uh, already enrolled. Uh, let's see what this does. Let's see if it shows it. So 349, I got a, I was able to get a discount. So I got both of them at the same time, mid October, I believe. Uh, let me just see if I could. So as I logged in, um, as you can see, it has Q4, Q4. Um, this was done in November, December. Um, so it looks like February and March are the next ones. Um, so pretty much session one, uh, they also have a page if you don't log in. I don't, uh, I'm, I'm just, I have my logged in. So I just did it real quick. Uh, it's pretty kind of pretty much the same thing. Um, so session one is getting initial access to AWS. Um, that's going to be the first module or first live training session. Uh, so pretty much this session provides an overview of AWS, pretty much covering the whole concepts of AWS services, identities, etc., um, as well as hands-on practice with the AWS CLI and the API. So pretty much this is real good, thorough, basic understanding of the overall, again, the infrastructure of AWS. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't know about it, and I'm no AWS or cloud expert at all, especially on the engagement red team teaming side. I've only technically done one, which was kind of a hybrid sent with a third party, and I just pretty much did the external recon uh, running two, two tools. Um, uh, Jesus Christ, I forgot. A scout Was it Scout Suite or um, Scout and Prowler or some shit like that? Uh, one of them was made by NCC Group. That's, it's been almost a little over a year since I've done it. That is the only thing I've done with cloud. Um, so pretty much with those, you do need your, uh, at least for Azure, you need your secret. Um, some of the some of the credentials uh, in order to run the tool successfully. So those are the only ones I've done. And then I also ran, you know, Azure Blob, some of the um, uh, S3 Bucket, uh, S3 Enum, stuff like that. Um, stuff that's pretty common on there for GitHub. But just to be transparent and honest, that's the only thing I've ever done with cloud. And I told you cloud and web are my primary focus for this year. Um, as I, I need to learn and hamper and build up those skills um, to add, add to the resume and the skill set and the tool belt. So um, that is why I really jumped on this, um, you know, just for transparency and context that of my experience for cloud that I that's the only thing I've ever done, um, you know, for my professional career outside of this. So uh, this was really good. Again, I learned a lot of stuff um, that I had no idea, even doing some of the AWS trainings and Azure trainings. Uh, on Udemy that I purchased a while, a while ago. Uh, I think it was the AZ900 for Azure. I forgot what the AWS one was. One of the security architecture or some shit. So session two is exploiting privileged IAM and trust policies. Another good one. This one is good. This one is primarily why I joined, similar to the AWS or Azure for the phishing aspects of it. Um, Azure obviously went into more of the phishing, real-world scenarios that were up-to-date from ATPs or a yeah, a APTs, um, and also had the um, MFA bypass, stuff like that. So that's for session two for here and also uh, the Azure. That is why I joined these boot camps to get ahead and actually deep dive into it, not just on the boot camp side. Like I said, I purchased 
the overall uh, yearly membership. That way I could get a better thorough understanding of it. Um, session three, attacking and defending AWS resources. Again, this is an attacking and defend bootcamp. It's not just red teaming, which is good because not only does it teach you the, um, the attacking red teaming side of it, but it also teaches you the blue team defending side of it, right? So this is also going to benefit you not only adding those kind of skills to your resume, your skill set, your toolbox, but it's going to show you on how things work on the back end from a, a, a purple team standpoint, right? Knowing how they work, uh, how it operates from a red team, making you a better red teamer. And also for that mitigation process, if you go on your own or consulting or working in an internal environment, you know how or to spot something that's incorrect on how to mitigate or fix or defend these resources or AWS setup configurations. You know and you you gain that knowledge. And it's not just on the boot camp again, it's also doing the labs as well. So you get that extra knowledge. So you're learning both uh both routes or both paths, um, again, attacking and defending. So that is why I liked it as well, especially me wanting to go on my own um, and doing things on the side, building up my own business as a consultant for local businesses, small, medium, um, you know, and, you know, because I don't want to just be there as a red team because if you look at it from a customer standpoint, well, you know this, but you don't know that. I want to be able to add and provide uh, value to both. Now, going in there and messing with their internal systems, that's a whole different story. But showing them a plan on their on your actual pen test, red team engagement report on how to pretty much mitigate, fix your um, whatever issues you find, whatever vulnerabilities you find or whatever misconfigs you find, giving them step-by-step -step details on how to mitigate and fix those those issues, that's gonna provide even more value. Not just doing that on your, on your own, your own business, you're a consultant on your own, but also internally as well. Now, the session four, again, touching on that is the purple and blue teaming in AWS. Again, another key thing I liked about both of them. Uh, obviously, I mean, they're all great, but for, for me, number one was the social engineering MFA, and they call it, uh, you know, exploiting overprivileged IAM trust policies, two different terminologies for the two different cloud platforms. But again, the defending portion of it, and then also the uh, working together from a purple and purple teaming standpoint for both cloud architectures, I really loved it. I didn't think, I mean, yeah, I, I knew I was going to learn some stuff, but I didn't think I would love it like I really did and really was into it. I mean, I, I was Googling shit after, uh, you know, just trying to learn. So I was really thrilled in the way that um, the trainers are, um, the instructor for both, really engaging, they're not dry. Um, People, and not only that, you're going to learn from people inside. They allow you to ask questions um, and you learn things and see how and pick people's brains by seeing how they think and operate and what kind of questions they ask. And you might not even be thinking of anything um, like that, but when they ask that question, light bulbs go off in your head, right? Uh, you never probably would have never even thought about that. So there's stuff like that, um, which I love. And again, it's real engaging, um, the instructor and also from the other students aspect inside of things, asking and engaging questions. Smart questions, by the way, too. There's a lot of good people on there that were in, in there with me uh, on both uh, boot camps. So I do plan on taking these. I want to get, I want to finish more of the, um, more of the overall uh, lab infrastructure side some of the more labs, and then I'll probably do a review on that as well and show my progress. Um, but I would highly recommend this, especially on the cloud side. I would say this, Pwn Labs, with the overall, uh, you know, the bootcamp side and then their infrastructure lab side, similar to Hack the Box, I would really, really recommend this first. And then obviously you got the Cloud Breach IO. Um, they got their labs. There would be more like an altered, is that correct? Altered security, CRTPO compared to the hack the box cape. Both good, both have served their purposes. Both touch on the same thing, but this gives you a more bigger platform to learn and grow, not only from the attack side, but also from the blue team side of things as well. And from what I from what I understood correctly, they are gonna be coming out with the Google platform, bootcamp and uh, training uh, like these two. So look for that shortly, which I will be doing uh, as well as I don't really, I have not really seen that much stuff for Google Cloud as far as from the red team standpoint. 
So overall, I would highly recommend. Uh, again, this was great. I'm not getting paid by them. I paid my own money out of this. Uh, it wasn't free. Didn't get no voucher or anything. Um, the exams attempts come with the boot camp, so you don't have to pay extra. You get two free attempts lifetime. Um, so after that, I think it's ninety nine dollars for another exam voucher. There really isn't any pros. Uh, I mean, there isn't really any cons. No issues on my end. I really, really loved it. It was engaging on all aspects. Students, instructor, the platform, the training material, the labs, um, even the Discord channel itself. Real quick to apply uh, the Azure one, as I said in my video, less than a minute uh, was it ERG55, I believe his name was on Discord, got me set up for the Discord channels for the Azure with less than a minute. So I would highly recommend this. I'm really glad this platform came out, especially from a cloud aspect. Um, again, uh, yeah, I'm real thrilled about this uh, going forward. Looking forward to the Google and, and completing this, um, uh, the whole rest of the cloud infrastructure training. So I don't have anything bad, like I said. Uh, if you guys have, have taken this, feel free to write in the comments your experiences, if you agree with me or not. Um, so that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to re be releasing another four, three or four videos this week to get caught back up. And um, have a good day. See you guys on the next one.